Hello and welcome back to another video on Unpack Technologies. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to adjust the window management settings on Mac OS. This will allow you to adjust how your Mac handles multiple different windows on multiple different displays and desktops. It's a pretty simple process, so let's get straight into it. Alright, so all you have to do for this process is go down and open up system settings. Then what you need to do is scroll down until you see desktop and dock. So you can see it's sort of just under privacy and security here on Ventura. You'll see desktop and dock. Now, if you're on Monterey or older, it'll be somewhere else on the tiled system. Uh, but it should still be called desktop and dock and you should still be able to follow along. So if we click desktop and dock you'll see that it starts with showing the dock and menu bar settings. Now, I have already made a video about how to adjust the dock and menu bar settings, so I'll leave that linked up in the cards and in the description below if you would like to see that. Um, so I won't go over these settings again, but if you want to see those settings in detail, go check out that video. So what we're going to do for today's video is scroll down to where it says Windows and Apps, and then we're going to focus on all these settings here. Alright, so we'll start from the top and then head down as we go along. So, uh, the first setting here is prefer tabs when opening documents. Um, you can change that between in full screen, always or never. So what that uh, means is when you have Finder open, for example, um, whether it will open a new tab or a new window when you're going to try and open documents. So that's, um, that's what that setting means there. Um, and then under that, it says ask to keep changes when closing documents. So that means um, when it says, would you like to save changes you made to this document? If you click save, date save or cancel, you can turn that on or off depending on your personal preferences and also whether you have auto save turned on. Now under that, you've also got close windows when quitting an application. So what that means is that when it's enabled, open documents and windows will not be restored when you reopen an application. So if you quit an application you've got multiple windows open on, it won't restore them when you reopen that. If you turn that off, it will restore every single window you've had open. So for example, if you've got a whole heap of Safari windows open, it will restore them all when you reopen it after quitting. Now we've got Stage Manager here. Um, so that was new in macOS Ventura. It's a new way of handling windows. So turning that on, you'll see, obviously, when you open up different apps, it opens up this sort of new staged view. I have also made a video about that. So if you'd like to check that out, I'll also leave that up in the cards uh, and in the description below. So um, check that out if you want to see about Stage Manager. Um, so I won't go into detail about that today. So I'll just um, go back and turn that off here. But under that, you can also change your default web browser. So um, you can see by default it's on Safari, but I can change that between all the browsers I have installed on this computer, such as Brave, Chrome, Edge, or Edge Developer. So I can switch it between any of those nice and easily. All right, now going down a little bit further here, we can see that we've got Mission Control settings. So Mission Control shows an overview of your open windows and thumbnails of full screen applications all arranged in a unified view. So that's Apple's description of it. So, um, Mission Control, I'm clicking the Mission Control button here, you'll see it's changing. It's not going to show a whole lot, but if I just open a few different applications here, um, just to give a nice uh, sort of demo of how this sort of works, um, what we can do is click the Mission Control button, and you'll see that this is what Mission Control looks like. So, and then you can also see you can have multiple desktops up the top by clicking the plus button here, and this is sort of the view you get in Mission Control. So... There's a few different settings um, that you can change here. So there's automatically rearrange spaces based on most recent use. So what that means is it will rearrange how all these are shown based on their usage. So if I were to open these two apps, they're now going to show over here um, rather than where they were before. So that's on by default. Um, you can turn that on or off. When switching to an application, switch to a space with an open windows for the application. So what that means is it will switch over um, to wherever the open windows are of the application. So let's say I was had Safari windows open on maybe another desktop. 
it would then flip straight over to that if there's already some windows open. If there's no windows open for it though, it won't uh, do that. And then you've got options for group windows by application. So if you've got multiple windows of the same application here, so I'll do that for Safari. At the moment, they're not grouped. But if we were to turn that on, you'll see that they're all now grouped under this Safari header and you actually get a little nice thumbnail of what each app looks like so that's a nice way to sort of categorize so that things don't get super messy uh, here on your mission control and then you can also just decide whether displays have separate spaces so does a display uh, have its own mission control space uh, if you have a dual display set up or even more displays than that um, that can be either turned on or off so what i'll do now is i'll just get out of these apps here so we can uh, focus back on system settings here and then under that, there's just a couple more things we have options for. So we've got this shortcuts and hot corners button. So we'll start with shortcuts. If we click on that, you'll see there's keyboard shortcuts um, for both mission control and application windows, as well as show desktop uh, in this little uh, setting. So um, what you can see here is you'll see a little up. By default, it's a little... Uh, little pointing up arrow and another arrow next to it now if you're confused about what that means the first little arrow or triangle type looking thing is actually the control button on your keyboard so if you click control and then the second one is just your arrow key say up arrow you'll see that's enacting uh mission control there so i'll just make that a bit more obvious control up arrow is enacting mission control as you can see there um, so you can change this to anything you like. There's so many different options. And if you hold down command or option or control, it will give you more options for keyboard shortcut commands. You can also do a mouse shortcut if you want to, and that applies to all of these as well if you want a mouse shortcut. Same with application windows. This one's just control down arrow. So this is sort of like app expose is what they used to call this. Um, so for example, once again, if you've got multiple windows, open of an application you'll see when i'm clicking control down arrow it's going into this expose view which shows you um all of your different application windows but it's only showing it for that application it's not showing any other um apps on your computer so um that's how that one works once again you can change that to anything you like and then show desktop is just f11 now, if you're clicking F11 and you're wondering why it's not working, that might be because it's tied to your sound control or some other button. So you might have to click a little function button, which is FN on your keyboard, and then click F11, which will then show the desktop like so. So just depending on your keyboard layout, you might just have to use that function key um, to allow that to work. And then there's also just the hot corners button here. Um, I've also made a video about hot corners on your Mac, so check that out if you would like to. Um, but this can just make some basic uh, commands. So, for example, if I move my mouse to the top right, it opens the notification center there. And on the bottom, while holding command, it opens quick notes. So, um, just some pretty basic stuff there. But uh, I often do uh, show desktop um, on the bottom left when I mainly use it as well. That's nice and easy. So, that's what I've personally done. So yeah, that's uh, the quick and easy process of how to adjust the window management settings on your macOS device. Hopefully this was helpful and you've had some great success with this. And just if you have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. And also leave any video suggestions down there as well because I'm more than happy to make those if you would like to see them. And with that, thanks for watching this video on Unpack Technologies. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video.